what is the real meaning of Ram Banavas? So we know from Ramayan, as per the storyline, Lord Ramachandra was sent to exile for 14 years. Kekai asked two boons to Maharaj Dasharat. Her first boon was establish my son Bharat as the king of Ayodhya. And second one, send Ram to forest for 14 years. So that is the storyline. But what does Ram Vanvas really mean? What is the contextual meaning of Ram Vanvas? So if we analyze, Kekai, she represents karma. And Mantra, she represents lobha, greed. When our karma is inspired by lobha, by greed, dharma cannot be there. And Lord Ramachandra represents dharma. So when our karma is inspired by greed, there is no dharma in the life. Dharma from our life goes to vanavas. See, karma in itself is not bad. We have to do our karma, our duty. If somebody is having a business, some shop, some agriculture profession or going on a job, so that is our duty, our professional activity. But when our activity is inspired by greed, that is bad. And then there cannot be any dharma in the life. So KK represents karma and mantra represents greed. When karma is inspired by greed, there cannot be dharma. So Ram goes on exile. Also another meaning, because Ayodhya got these three anarthas, these three vices. What are these? Maharaj Dashrath, he represents kama, lust. At that age also, Maharaj Dashrath has so much attachment for Kekai. He is not able to see Kekai in that condition. She has given up her fancy clothes and fancy jewelry and gone to the Kop Bhavan, anger chamber. And Maharaj Dashrath is calling Kekai, Hey Gajgamini, Hey Nayana Sundari, I cannot see you in that condition. So Maharaj Dashrath has got so much attachment, so much kama, lust. And Ram represents dharma, so whenever there is Kama or lust, dharma cannot be there. And Kekai also represents anger. After being inspired by mantra, Kekai is filled with anger. And she went to the anger chamber, Kop Bhavan. Until my these two demands are fulfilled, I am not going to come out, I am not going to do anything, I am not going to eat anything. So she has got that much anger. And wherever there is anger, peace cannot be there. And Sita Devi, she represents peace, Shanti. And mantra, she represents lobha, greed. Wherever there is greed, there cannot be detachment. And Lakshmanji, he is vairagya, he is detachment. So wherever there is attachment, there cannot be detachment. So because Ayodhya got these three vices, these three anarthas, the calm, anger and lobha, the lust, anger and greed, so dharma, peace, and detachment cannot be there. So Ram, Sita and Lakshmanji, they go out of Ayodhya. And that is the, our condition also. Our heart is meant for establishing Sita, Ram, Lakshman in our heart. But we have given that place to lust, anger and greed. And we have sent Lord Ramachandra on exile. If we really want to bring Lord Ramachandra back in our heart, if we want to establish Sita, Ram, Lakshman in our heart, we need to remove these negative tendencies of lust, anger and greed from our heart and give that place to Lord Ramachandra. Jai Shri Ram.